raise a little money. Good day today. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of teaching. Good Tuesday. Um, just, uh, you know, working on working on the plan and working on uh, just getting better fundamentally. And uh, had a good day. Questions? What's your assessment been so far of Demarius Randall's play? Has he been as consistent as you want? Uh, you know, uh, I think you know my, my my expectation of him is really high, uh, and uh, so uh, you know we're wanting. Um, uh, you know, I think I think early in the season maybe he's trying to do too much, and the biggest thing is just executing the system. So uh, he's played well. Uh, he's not played as good as he can play. Uh, so we're wanting a lot more out of him. Are you looking at Carlos for with that first team at Will? We're just we're just repping, just just creating competition and working. Carlos is back where he can be used this week, so we're repped him a little bit. Do you and after a game like that with the defense, do you keep going back to the tape and show up mistakes, or you just kind of flush out your system? Move on is what I do. <laughs> what else? I didn't. I wasn't here right when you first started talking. Did you have an update on Taylor? Taylor Kelly. <laughs> uh, he's doubtful this week. Uh, I doubt he'll play. Uh, we expect him back for sure the next week. And you know, you look at the numbers, and Mike did a really great job. What what are the the positives, and what does he need to work better? More Turnovers. Than, yeah. uh, you know, it doesn't matter how many yards you have. It doesn't matter how many completions you have. That's all for everybody else to talk about. Uh, the bottom line is you have to take care of the football, and that's the biggest area where we made the most mistakes. Uh, we had one really, really costly interception, and then then fumbled the ball. So the biggest thing is the ball security part of it, and then to just take what they give you and use the, the athletes around you. So, um, you know, the, the one interception was a spectacular interception. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how that got intercepted, but it was. Uh, so that you know, those, those things will happen like that. But the ones that. Uh, um, you know, with all the right intentions, you know, sometimes when you don't have a lot of experience, you operate outside the system. And so that's the biggest improvement he has to have. And he'll tell you it wasn't a great performance. If it's a great performance, it's 100% ball security. There's only one definition on our offense to a great performance. It doesn't matter if you, if you threw eight touchdowns and you turn the ball over, that's not a great performance because the key to winning is owning the football. So that's, that's the number one thing we have to improve. We don't turn the football over. That's the key to winning games, and that's been the key formula for us for every game we've won in the last uh, two and a half years. Can you talk a little bit about the, the tackling um, that led some, some short yardage, yardage plays to some big plays? Yeah, I, I think you know defensively for the, in the first half, you know, you know, you're playing a good team, so they, they get theirs and all that. And then uh, uh, you know we gave up one cheap touchdown on the outside on a double cut where we, get, where we, we slip down and then you know don't don't respond there and cover three so so that 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 really hurt us and then uh, then obviously the kickoff return for a touchdown so those those big plays like that and then the, in the tackling on our coverage units and that was just guys out of control and I think maybe that maybe we had them you know maybe that had something to do with folks and your energy you know and because uh, we haven't tackled that like that and so it, like I said in the press conference it's 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 you're, one you're playing against you know really good people and, and two maybe you're you got to control your emotions a little bit and get under control. So we worked on that that hard, and we, and we do that every day. We start our practice tackling every day. Obviously, Cody Kessler is a very different quarterback than Brett Hundley, but his accuracy is a, probably quite a challenge. When you're very, to very good, good quarterback uh, manages. He has a command of the offense. He's more of kind of what I would call. A, he's more in lines of a Taylor Kelly. He has command of his offense, and and he understands where where you know the reads. He understands coverages. Uh, he does a good job, a lot better job than people think of, of evading, extending plays. Uh, so I'm, I've been, I'm been very impressed with him on film. He's done a good job. Thank you. What was your opinion of the way DeAndre ran the ball last week? I, I didn't, I, I didn't really, uh, you know, didn't, didn't have an opinion either way. Really, it didn't stand out to me one way or another. Got, we, that, that's one of the things that, uh, uh, you know, that each week you got to kind of take what they give you, and, and we really need him to. He's done well. He just not done. He's not met. met uh, he's not planned to his potential, uh, and so we're keep encouraging him to get better. Is his practice habits good? He, he works hard. All of our guys work hard, man. These guys. You know, I, I got an academic report today. It's the best one I've gotten in history since I've been coaching. I mean, just f phenomenal. I mean, uh, you know, we're on target to be a 3.0 football team, and uh, you, I think there out of the whole football team, there was one guy that they said oh, he's a little bit uh, difficult to deal with. One guy in the whole deal, and that's one too many. But but uh, just just very very impressed with you know uh, how our guys work and the character that they have, and uh, it gives me great confidence how they're going to respond. Who was that one guy? <laughs> <laughs> Doug Haller. <laughs> do you, do you buy? You guys beat them.
pretty good here last year. Do you buy into the whole revenge thing? Is it? I mean, does that happen? Is it? A, or is that a media thing? Uh, it's probably a media thing. I, I think every year, each each game, it, it, this is a Pac-12 conference, and I think each kid, it's like, you know, I mean, our kids wouldn't know what happened, you know, two years ago, you know, if they weren't here, you know, if they, unless they looked at the wall. That's why we put it on the wall, so so people can remember. <laughs> Uh, but no, no. I mean, obviously, I'm sure that's that's something that, that uh, you know uh, you always try to use everything you can to motivate people. But winning the Pac-12 championship is enough motivation for anybody, and we know the games that we have to win, and those Pac-12 South games are must-wins, especially uh, you know being down one right now. So uh, um, uh, this is a this is a must-win for us and, and for them as well. That's some more of a Marcus Ball at Spur today. Is that more of a game-by-game -game thing like it was for New Mexico? He's been at Spur for two weeks.